Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a best class setup for the RPR Evo. This is basically the Ripper from Call of Duty Ghost. It is a little bit different. Um, the actual, the Elite variant, I would say Elite variant, the Epic variant is basically the exact same as the Ripper from Call of Duty Ghost. And uh, this is a very modular weapon because you can switch it between submachine gun and assault rifle mode. It shoots really fast, it's a good close quarters on submachine gun and then assault rifle mode. The uh, rate of fire goes down so it makes it really easy to control the recoil. But uh, this is basically how I have this class set up. I do have the Revenant weapon variant which is the rare version. Um, basically I always just set it up with a ELO sight, a foregrip, and a quick draw grip. That's the best setup for me for run and gun. Um, and then I'm rocking for perks, I'm rocking Dexterity and Recon as a first perks, um, Hardline as a second perk, and Gung Ho as a third perk. Um, those are really, really good run and gun perks, especially Dexterity, being the fact that you can reload very, very quickly. That's basically the equivalent of Sleight of Hand in the previous Call of Duties and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this gun, being the fact that you can switch this gun from submachine gun to assault rifle mode, depending on the situation that you're in, makes this one of the... How do I put it? Probably one of the better better guns in the game because basically it's a two in one. You get up close and personal in submachine gun mode, and then if you get a target that's out there a ways and you can kind of feather the trigger, you put it in assault rifle mode, and it really has a low amount of recoil, and you can really pop targets at a really long range. But uh, yeah, this gun is it's it's a really fun gun to use. If you guys haven't tried it, make sure to jump in the beta and try it out before the beta is over. I'm not quite sure if they're going to do any weapon balancing between the PS4 beta this weekend and then the Xbox One PS4 beta next weekend. Um, I kind of hope they do. There are some weapons that need weapon balance, but uh, this gun is just, like I said, it's a very modular weapon and uh, it's a lot of fun to use. And it is. It's recoil-wise, it's not really that bad if you do put a foregrip on it, but if you don't put a foregrip on it, it does have a tendency to recoil it quite a bit, especially with how fast it shoots. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys be the judge if you guys want to put a foregrip on it or not. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just want to do a quick class setup, a best class setup video for this weapon. And, uh, you know, throw this weapon on with this setup and try it out. Let me know down in the comments uh, if you guys have success with it. If you guys think there's some other things I should change with that setup. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And let me know definitely if you guys try it out. But uh, like I was saying, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on the video. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. It only takes a second. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered content in the near and upcoming future. This is the first best class setup that I've done, and it's during the beta. I plan on doing many, many more once the full game comes out, because there will be weapon balancing, and we basically can uh, we can get out some really good classes throughout the lifespan of Infinite Warfare. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.